crinkle enough to pillage would survive. And the gangs took over the highways, ready to wage war for them to keep the chiefs. And in this maelstrom of decay, ordinary men were battered and smashed. Men like Max, the warrior man. Under this old couch, and tested with two sumo wrestlers, even with 1,000 pounds, the couch didn't sag or sit. Now get furniture mix for just $14.99. You get a second set as a bonus. Just pay separate prices second like handling. You get four furniture movers and the couch pouch for your remote, both free. You get it all, a $60 value for $14.99. So call now. To order furniture fix for just $14.99, call 1 800 943 1652 or online at furniturefix.com. This offer is not available in stores. Butterbean, the new sheriff in town. Butterbean is bringing big justice to small town America. Appreciate what you've done for me, son, and my family. Big Law Deputy Butterbean premieres Tuesday at 10 on Planet Green. In the book of Exodus, Moses fled Egypt after killing a cruel slave master. According to scripture, Moses took sanctuary in the land of Midian. Midian's exact location is never made clear. Traditionally, scholars have placed Midian somewhere in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. The Bible says, And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of a bush. And the bush burned, but it was not consumed. The burning bush is a strange image for God, so strange and specific that some scientists believe it might have some basis in fact. Bushes do not spontaneously burst into flames, except in certain locations. If you have a bolt to bend underneath the normal bush, then the hot gas will come up, and that bush will catch fire. Volcanic vents 
are small fissures in the top of volcanically active areas. <laughs> the vents emit extreme heat and flammable gases, hot enough to cause a nearby bush to combust. In fact, the Bible says the bush burned, but was not consumed. And only one bush in the area of Egypt fits this description. It's an acacia bush. And if you had a volcanic vent in the ground and volcanic gases coming up, they would catch fire and they'd burn up through the bush. To test the theory, our producers applied a propane jet of flame to an Arabian acacia bush. At over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, the flame is invisible. Seemingly without cause, the bush burns. Its trunk slowly turns to charcoal. It is burning but not consumed, just as the Bible describes. If the burning bush is the result of a volcanic vent, it helps provide a location for the mysterious <laughs> land in the Neither Egypt nor the nearby Sinai Peninsula are volcanically active. The nearest volcanoes are here, in Saudi Arabia's Great Rift mountain range. This may be the location of Midian and the burning bush. And the location is important because Moses will remember it when he leads his people to freedom. When God speaks from the burning bush, God tells Moses to return to Egypt to lead the enslaved Hebrews to freedom. Moses returns to the land of his birth where he approaches the Pharaoh and says, let my people go. The Pharaoh refuses, and God says, I will bring plagues upon Egypt. Afterwards, he will let you go hence. He shall surely thrust you out hence altogether. Ten plagues, blood, frogs, gnats, flies, plague, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and death. Ten devastating events that brought horror and death to the land. Some scientists suggest that ten plagues are more than simply a literary account of the scope of God's wrath, but a scientifically accurate description of natural phenomena. Each of the plagues essentially began a cascade effect. It began the snowball run going down the hill, so to speak. So it climaxed uh, with the uh, tenth plague. The Bible begins the plagues thus. The river shall be turned to blood. According to Exodus, the Nile River turned blood red for seven long days, killing every living thing in the water. Can science explain this mysterious first plague? Something called red tides are well known throughout the world. They occur you know, every other year in some part of the world. Red tides take place in rivers and oceans when green algae accumulates and blooms like a flower turning red. It then emits a powerful toxin. For the algae to turn red, it has to be high temperature and high nutrients levels in the water that triggers them turning red. The algae bloom not only emits toxins, but also dissolves the oxygen in the water, leading to massive fish kills, just like the Bible states. In turn, any animals that can flee the toxic river do so. This leads to the second plague, frogs. In Egypt, millions of Nile River frogs <laughs> leave the water and infest the land. The Bible says, and the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come in thine house. With no food to eat, the frogs quickly die, causing the next two plagues. According to the Bible, there were gnats upon man and upon animals. The gnats are a nuisance, but scientists think they would eventually turn.